It's not Scotch guarded. What is the name? Let me get the name. I'm also having some snacks here. Um, Master Guard. I'll actually link the details for it down below if you guys want to do it for your crotches. It wasn't that expensive. I think the guy comes to your house and sprays everything down. It's not toxic. I think I might just put it together now. This room just chaos is what I would call it I just unpacked my bathroom box or the bathroom box and I put all the stuff on the floor because I needed to give the boxes back but I wasn't done with sorting everything out so I just put it there which is what we're gonna do today we're gonna handle this mess this is just like we've started dumping our parcels in here because we're not putting anything on the couch right now because it's drying also I'm not certain about those colors on the new couch there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't have a home this is all my shopping here, H&M, H&M, H&M. Those are the baskets I got the other day, which I'm very excited about, and I will use up there, or even probably, most likely, I will use them in this cupboard over here. I don't like that Sean has his clothing in here. I think I'm gonna have to oust him from this cupboard. I'm gonna be using this as like my main storage for beauty and camera stuff and work things. As you can see, I've just literally shove things in here. All my fragrances are in that towel. That's how I wrapped them when we moved. So there's a lot to sort out in here as well, but I thought that that could be our task for today. This we're using for our underwear. So this used to be like beauty storage for me in our old apartment, but we need to get some kind of chest of drawers or like something that has a hanging space as well like an old i'm thinking something cool like a second hand facebook marketplace something cool i don't know what it looks like i don't have anything particular in mind i just think it could be cool to have some kind of interesting piece here that's for like extra clothing like pajamas underwear things like that oh, i can see someone leaving the house like everyday things that we we need which we need to get something for that over there. And then maybe I can take this white guy back into my office, but that's not happening just yet. So it's gonna have to live in here for a little while longer, which means I need to work with what I have in my office space. So let's work on that before I talk for another five minutes, actually six and a half minutes. Yes, it's, for someone that's actually introverted and generally in life doesn't talk a lot. I don't think I talk a lot. I have a lot to say when I get the camera out, hey? A lot to say. I've had some lunch and now we're gonna sort out this mess. I'm gonna take all of these things out and I will show you the other little basket that I got to fit in there. And then there'll have to be stuff, I think, in the center. So I bought this from H&M, which I thought could fit on the other side. I also got these guys, some nice looking measuring cups put those in there so long. I'll show you the rest of that when I do a little haul but I thought this could fit either that way in the cupboard or that way. That's the SKU code if you want to get it yourself. So I'm going to pack some new products in here.
You must walk in like you just got your groceries and they have all your stuff in the hands. Now go. Oh, is that the thousand and yogurt? Oh my word, you little brat. These, eh? It's not a thousand rand. It's the oh. same price as your cordial. It's 150 rand. No, one cordial. 75 rand. Yes. It also means I get to have breakfast. For one rand. Could you be any more miserable? Hmm? I wish I had a normal tummy that could just have regular milk. And dairy, but here we are. I'm a super sorry. I'm not rude to you. You are irritating. Sorry, Richard. Where's the where's the dish cloth that I could actually use? <laughs> do you need it for something wet? It's uh, for the, the bacon. What do you mean for the bacon? Why would you need it for the bacon? Take, put the bacon in. Take okay, the bacon. open that drawer. We found the foil. Look around there if there's maybe something that's actually for the oven. Yeah, there we go. Then you don't have to ruin my dishcloths. Good God, what did you do to this butter? Why is there shit in the butter? There's nothing in the butter. Nothing in the butter. <laughs> Just to be clear, you're saying there's nothing in the butter. What's this? <laughs> Can you see? Are you blind? No, Why are there so many crumbs in this? You hacked this no, butter. No, it's hacked, babe. Wasn't it? I don't understand what you are doing. Wasn't it? I made some progress because this pile is smaller, but I haven't finished the bathroom stuff yet. And I haven't even tackled that. I bought this yesterday and I'm very excited about it. I'm going to get three more for our dining room, but for now it's just going to live in here as my work chair and I love it before you ask where it's from it's um like a vintage piece so it's not readily available but you could find it on like Facebook marketplace or Instagram I think it's so beautiful I'm so excited to have it in here and for the space to not look like this But also this is not my everyday everyday stuff. This is extra stuff that I know I'm going to use and love. In this drawer I have blushes, highlighters, powders, cream and powder because I have cream on this side over here. And then this one I have primers, foundations, setting sprays. And then in the bottom one is kind of just ad hoc stuff, eyeshadows, an extra powder that couldn't fit into this one. And then some eye stuff, lip stuff, it's all just kind of mixed in there. I think that'll work out fine because my everyday lip stuff and things like that are in here. So I'm going to pop these two in the cupboard and then we will do fragrance. <laughs>
literally running out of the house. You can kind of see my panty. Oh well, I'm dressed now. Morning. Sean is just laughing at me in the background. This is what I'm wearing while I'm here. This is the uh, Sunday, wear Sunday the label, Sunday the label brand uh, shirt and linen shorts. Super comfy because it's really warm today and also we're going to Stellenbosch which is also incredibly hot. And then I'm wearing I am trained sunglasses and my regular just gotta be okay with the mess in the background for a little while longer we're getting there very slowly my office is looking a lot better and sean is just very impatiently and silently waiting for me at the door i have my bags packed over here well one bag packed because paula and i flip you around paula and i are doing a little one night stay with a brand it's actually just she was invited and she invited me to come along because our plus ones have normal jobs where they can't just take a random monday off so we are each other's plus ones for cool things like this so just like babylon stone i didn't vlog that paula vlogged that i'll link her vlog in the description um just like that we are having a little one night stay just the two of us and we have a lot of fun so i thought i would bring you guys along for that and we are rushing into the car because we're late but also fortunately Paul is late as well so you don't have to give me those eyes okay let's, let's Is it called a wine safari? Let's see. Oh, don't, um, she said wine safari. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, guys. Cute. It was, um, oh, Paula's here. That's so beautiful. Also, we realized that we have exactly the same setup, same camera, same tripod, same outfit, same glasses. No, man. Yeah. Both have the I Am Trend sunglasses. <laughs> Both wearing a linen, linen set. Look at this, linen set. God. Exactly the same things. If you were wearing your a straw bag, I actually exactly thought of the it. Same. I thought of my camera. I'm so and then glad I was you like, did not. Then I thought because then it would look like with those friends that just match for fun no, and on purpose. No. <laughs> what a great Monday, though. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What a better way to start the week. No. It's a lot it's of effort though. It's, yeah. it's, it's actually not that just as, as fun like, as you thought. Everyone's very be. excited about being married, but like it takes a hell of a lot of work. Yeah. Like, it really does. A lot, lot of work. work. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like if you meet your person, then you just go through it together, you know? Yeah, but I think there's definitely like a lot of romanticizing being married, but it takes. Uh, yeah. Probably like, in the beginning, I feel like with the wedding and the whole. No, but even like, I'm four years in. Oh, really? It is still it's hard. It's still difficult. It is though. It's it's the thing. It oh, no. Okay. Are you also married? Yeah. And how long have you got, have you been married for? Three years. Are we married? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Are you married together? Yeah. Cute <laughs> man! Are you loud? No. We could be married. You could be. Yeah. You look matchy matchy, so... Beautiful. This is our dinner for tonight. Apparently, this stays hot for did they say eight to ten hours? 
Yeah. This is our little dinner set up for tonight. All of our little things inside there. How cute are these baskets though? So this is our little lounge set up. Little fireplace. This is Paulie's room. Oh, I forgot to say we're at Jordan Wine Estate. Beautiful bathroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. We're here with one boutique. And we got a little sneak peek of the new range which launches tomorrow. It would have already been launched by the time this goes up, but I showed you this earlier. This is their winter set, winter knit. So beautiful. And then there's this wonderful box here too. We will open this in a little bit and also some wine. Uh, this is the dress, remember? I'm just in here looking in Paula's bag and I saw that we have exactly the same. Another thing that we're matching, I also brought this bloody event bag. So where's this from, Zara? <gasps> I'm gonna get it. It's on sale <gasps> for 360 Of Bob course it's on sale. It has to be on sale. Yes. yes. Bargain hunter. How cute is Hashtag that? Hashtag jokes. <laughs> Hashtag bargain hunter. <laughs> okay, I thought we could just open up these two boxes. Stuff. Oh, this smells incredible. That gecko is still in your room, eh? I know, he's cute. <gasps> oh, what's this? Is this a, a panty, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little panty, it's a nice woolen panty. <gasps> Did you see that my name was on here? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, but now it's upside down. Let's do Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm so excited for you to open yours as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my cute name. With the copy and everything and the capital C. Wow. That's so Attention cute. to detail. I love attention to detail. That color is just... Oh. I know. It's going to look great on me when I have a tan. And I want to put this on my body. Yeah. The matching pants. They always said I wasted on me. Yeah, because we're short. That's the only reason why everything is high waisted. Fun what fact. Fun fact, Lachelle and I are the same height. Exactly the same height. <gasps> Shorts! That's so cool because I'm a hot person. In all the ways. But anyway. <laughs> this is this is why this is what happens when I hang out with Paula. But this is nice because then you can match that with, with the long the sleeve. Either or. Exactly. I would wear that to chill at home, like the long pants. Mm. And then when I get into bed, put the shorts on. Mm. Paula just stole the first fire. Wow. I literally in my video, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is our little dinner. We have all our little food things in here. This is mash. The veggie option, which is like a babuti or something. Ooh, this this is where it's exciting. The beef. The short rib is in there. And then this one is couscous and rice, I think. Or just couscous that looks and rice. Like yeah, I definitely see something fruity in there. I don't need reasons. No, me neither.
entrance for the story. I know I haven't mentioned anything, but we are at Landsrack Wine, no, Landsrack Wine Estate, Landsrack Spa. <laughs> We're at Landsrack Spa today. I booked us massages just because I thought it would be nice because, you know, life is hard and it's nice to treat yourself every now and then. So we have been chilling in the jacuzzi for the last hour. I had the Elemis back massage, which was, oh my gosh, incredible, I needed it after the move and just life things and unpacking and packing and all of that, I needed it. I think we're going to have lunch here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I thought I would do is, at the end of this vlog, because I haven't, oh, let me just situate myself first quickly, because otherwise I'm just going to be banging around here. So I haven't filmed anything since my two days ago with Paula in Stellenbosch, which was so lovely. But I've been doing some homeware shopping. I'm sorry if it's echoing here, we're just gonna have to deal. I've been doing some homeware shopping and I thought, oh, let's get the tulips in a little bit more. I thought it'd be nice to show you guys what I've gotten recently, just for fun, you know, cause like old school haul, which I still love seeing, but not on its own. I do wanna do a separate fashion haul and styling. So styling along with showing you guys what I've gotten, which is some of what you see over there, over there. So let's just do homeware for now. And I'm gonna start, I've got a lot from H&M just because, I don't know, that's just where I've been shopping and where I've found the things that I love. I'm not gonna include our couch, but I will include, I bought a table, like Sean and I bought a little coffee table, which we love. Now it looks great with what we have in the lounge but it might change depending on what we do in the lounge. But I'm gonna start with the things I have in front of me. This is a candle holder from H&M and I just think it's so pretty. I'm wondering now, looking at these candle holes, if they're too small for the, the candles that I have. Like, you know those pretty like squiggly candles? I know candles are like the thing right now. And I have a couple, but I don't have nice candle stick holders. Candle holders? whatever they're called. And I thought this one was nice because it's neutral, simple beige, and it was $2.99, so 300 grand. I have some from Miele, is that right? I don't know how to say it. Um, I have some from Miele, but they are broken. I actually got them, I got them as a gift, but they were broken. I think they broke in when they were shipped. So I'm gonna try and, I think I'm gonna try and kind of melt those back together, like use another candle to patch them up a little bit. I don't know if it'll work, we will see. And hopefully I can use those in there. I have another candle stick holder. And this is the one that I showed when I was shopping at H&M. I bought both of these, obviously you can tell. Um, this, this is the Florence Nightingale one. This one that I showed in the previous, well, one of the previous vlogs. This was also $2.29. I also got this tiny little one. Very simple little like amber glass. I just really like the color of the amber glass and I didn't want to invest in something too big. And I thought this could be cute with just like a candle in the center. My battery is flashing, so I'm going to speak nice and fast. Oh, oh, I love this one, it's so pretty. Okay, so this one I've seen in store in some other colors, but I just think the rippled effect is so pretty. That was 80 Rand. The other one was 30 Rand, so super affordable. Oh, it's so good. Look at it next to the, the, the vase. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep saying, oh, that's so pretty for everything, because I really do think it's all pretty. More candlestick holders. I hope that's what you call them because that's what I'm calling them. It's, it's really cool and simple. I'm planning on getting a clothing rail soon for my office. And I just think like styling it up with little things like that would look so good. And then I've got a big version. Oh, look how pretty she is. I got this one as well. Again, I couldn't decide between the two. So I just got both of them and I can style them at different points in our home. So maybe one in the lounge, maybe one in here. And um, we'll see as we go. Oh, I did buy candles. I bought candles. 
we will get to that now but i saw these and they're very simple kind of like a beige with black speckle and i just thought they were nice for if i decide to do baking i mean i have done it on my channel like not on my channel i'm not dedicated to baking because i'm not very good at it as you would have seen with the cheesecake and that was very simple you just plonk the cheesecake in um, but I just thought these would be nice because finding good looking measuring cups and spoons is really hard and I think these are really pretty like you know for a photo those would be great and then the hair in my mouth <gasps> so pretty I found these candles again at H&M everything is H&M at this point so I like that they're connected as well I was thinking of kind of I saw, I think it was Misha actually, She, I think she bought these and um, I'll link her channel down below and her Instagram and she hung them on this cool like hook thing that she has and it just looked so nice. So I like the idea that they were connected already, obviously you just snip them at the top if you want to use them separately. Those could actually go in there but I just think that's like too neutral to have like the neutral candles and the neutral holder. And then I bought this basket and I was hoping to use it in... My office cupboard the one I showed you in the beginning of this like the styling that I've been doing I just think this would be nice for my brushes I don't know I just think it's it's really nice it's a nice way to add some texture and then these I bought a couple of these in I think one of my previous okay my battery just died that doesn't oh seem like the same angle <laughs> oh is that skew okay that seems skew I've been fussing with this tripod for long enough. My battery died. I can't get the angle right. We're just gonna have to live with it. Okay, the last thing I was speaking about are these kind of rattan trays. So, not trays, baskets. I actually have these in my office cupboard and I spoke about them. I didn't speak about them. I showed them in the beginning of this video and then also when I went shopping in my like moving, moving in vlog, that one. So I bought two of those, they're great, I think they were like 600 Rand each, but to me they make sense because they really work in my office and I also thought maybe I could use them like on show, somewhere in my office or even somewhere else around the house and I really like the brown and I struggled to find that in store. I showed this guy in the vlog, one of my previous vlogs, and I really liked it but now I'm not certain because I have my Lorena Canals rug in my office currently. This could work elsewhere in the house but I'm not certain where yet. This box is something that I actually got from the H&M team just because they just wanted to give me a nice gift and it's really sweet and it's got some home stuff so I thought I would show you guys in this video. Let me move some of this out of the way. I just, I know myself I'm probably gonna knock something somewhere. They sent over these cushion covers as well as some cushion inners. I'm very into my simple home decor stuff so that it can kind of work with anything you buy. I don't want something with too many patterns or too many colours. I say that now but I am really loving colour in my like dress sense. So maybe it'll roll over into our home. I don't know, we'll see. And then they also sent over this beautiful sun dried linen candle. I like the um, container, the, the holder. I think it's really pretty. So once the candle is burnt down, so simple. I love a simple kind of neutral scent. Notes of clean cotton, fresh apple blossom, and soft white musk. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do fashion in the next video. I don't think there's anything homey related, but I thought I would do this because this is like a personal scent, but then also home scent, and I'm really excited about it. I haven't made a Jo Malone purchase in such a long time, and I keep seeing Tori speaking about her Jo Malone candles and fragrances, and I'm just like, I just need to do it because I love Woods Agency Salt. It is such a beautiful scent. So I just thought I would show you guys what I got because I haven't taken it out of the box yet. I want it to be an experience with you and I. This experience of opening such beautiful packaging is one of the reasons why people buy Jo Malone. This is definitely one of the reasons why I buy Jo Malone. It's just so beautifully wrapped. Oh, I love it so much. Mm. Okay, so I actually used Tori's discount code in store and that meant that I got loads of deluxe samples. Both of the things I got were in the intense kind of cologne section which is the black packaging just because I really like these types of scents. I like kind of unisex 
strong almost male scents i just i really love that it makes me very happy so i have the oud and bergamot scented candle this is as i said from the intense range or the cologne range i have the germalone dark amber and ginger lily cologne intense <gasps> how beautiful is she it's a little bit more feminine but not not anywhere near like the Moon Tonka, I think like that's quite, that's very feminine and sweet to me. But this is quite neutral and strong and it could be like unisex in my mind. And I think it's so beautiful. I'm going to buy a Wood Sage and Sea Salt, but I think in the smaller packaging, like the smallest one, just because I think those, these two will layer really nicely together. So I'm going to get that. And then because I used Tori's um discount code not discount code like a coupon code which got you certain things and so i got the earl grey cucumber hand and body wash very bougie for a hand wash but it's just so pretty i'm not sure if i'm gonna let sean use this i feel like this is too nice for him that is it for me i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i know this section has been long but i prefer long vlogs tell me in the comments are you a fan of like a 15 minute video or are you more someone that wants to sink your teeth in and watch like a 30 to 40 minute video that's where i put my hand up is like 30 to 40 minutes that's where i want to go in terms of what i watch so i'm mostly just creating what i like to watch is there anything particular that you want me to show content creation wise is there stuff that you want to see i'm also going to put a question box on my instagram stories so that i can see if there's anything interesting you guys want to know i hope you guys have enjoyed this and i will see you in my next vlog which is a weekly vlog i've started already i started it today actually and i think you're going to be seeing more weekly vlogs from me i'm going to try and like throw in some daily vlogs in the middle there but i tried to do a daily vlog the other day and it was really hard it's a lot like sometimes my days are just fraught they're just boring so yeah okay cool that's enough talking for me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.